Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. It is John Corelli and your average guy opinion. Um, today is episode five, uh, so it's January 5th. Um, we are getting close to inauguration day and frankly a possible bloodbath on inauguration day because there are some absolute nut jobs that cannot handle the fact that their guy lost. He lost pretty big, actually. If you look non-electorally, it's about 81 million votes for Biden and 74 million votes for nut job. Get over it. You're always talking about how you're the uh, party of the real men and the uh, even possibly toxic masculinity. If you're a bunch of real men, accept that you lost and do it with some fucking class. Because you're you're you've already emboldened a bunch of racists. Uh, we're going to be garroting out this horrific scar for a long time in this country because we have been under the most divisive president, definitely in my lifetime, quite possibly ever. <laughs> so, having said that, where are we? What are we looking forward to? What can happen? Uh, I want to start off, and I probably will uh, be hitting upon uh, the Trump presidency quite a bit these next two weeks, just to get it out of my system, and uh, hopefully you guys will listen in and maybe make comments. Uh, this goes, this is a YouTube channel, but I post it on Facebook as well. We can make comments and have a discussion about this stuff on Facebook and uh, on YouTube. Uh, my goal is to be the world's old, oldest YouTuber, apparently, <laughs> but it is a good way for me. This is my 10 minutes that I do every day. Uh, to get things off my chest and just to uh it's my art kind of when i'm not doing comedy or writing a book or doing painting now is apparently a thing i'm back into um and when i'm not working and raising my kids i take a few minutes and do this so i got eight minutes to go what do we got uh, the latest rhetoric is kind of ridiculous um uh they're actually uh, saying on on the right side of the political fence that biden cares more about diversity than competence which is an absurdly, not only ignorant, it's a very racist thing to say. Um, yes, Joe Biden has uh, chosen thus far a very diverse cabinet. I'm not going to go into the specifics, but we, we've seen it. It's there. Um, this is kind of like the old uh, affirmative action argument, which supposes that guys were getting jobs because they were people of color or they were women, People were getting these jobs. I said, guys, but just based on that, like they were taking fucking homeless people off the street and making them CEOs. That wasn't happening. All affirmative action did was even the playing field. If you had the same qualifications as a white man did, yeah, there might be quotas at your place of business, especially if it was a public place of business like the post office or, or maybe a teaching job. Um, I can tell you working in a, in a school that has 80% uh, kids of color, that 80% of our staff is not of color. White people are still ruling the uh, teaching world. It's, it's pretty diverse, but it's not, it's not like we're outnumbered. Um, I, I'm part of a team that is really great, uh, ethnically very diverse, it's great, and, and uh, gender-based diversity, um, for lack of a better term. Um, we don't have any trans people that I'm aware of. Um, I don't know if... Uh, on, on my specific team and the special needs team that I work with, I don't know if any of uh, any of my coworkers are gay, nor do I care. It's not really any of my business unless I want to make it my business. Um, but I can tell you this, diversity works. You know who proved this a long time ago? Darwin. Darwin proved that diversity works. Okay? And uh, and since uh, the, the uh, Republicans are starting to talk out of their ass like they have been the last four years, how about the fact that you guys just employ your friends in, in places of, uh, that, are, that are very important cabinet posts. For example, like uh, during the Bush presidency. I uh, can't remember the guy's name. He was the head of FEMA. He did a shitty job because he'd never handled anything like FEMA. And then when Hurricane Katrina hit, we had a thousand people die. Not all of them, many of them would have died anyway, but not all of those people need to die. When you have people screaming on camera, we need help, it should have been there. They should have never gotten to that point. Um, so for, for the right to come around and say, oh, well, you're just hi hiring people because they have, you know, more melanin in their skin. No, that's not what's going on. They are qualified people. Maybe give them a chance before you jump down their throats. Just saying. Uh, because I will tell you this. I was not a fan of Trump, but 
uh, I was at least willing to go, hey, let's see what the guy can do. Jesus Christ, look what he has done. It's been four years of division. What kind of a man, during a presidential debate, tells a racist group like the Proud Boys, and even if you want to debate whether they're racist or not, that's fine, but tells any group to stand down and stand by. Fuck you. God, I, I, don't, I don't understand how the man has not been assassinated yet. I really don't get it. Because I don't think Pence could garner up this kind of fervor and support. I really think that if somebody just took him out, took Trump out, that would be a good thing. I'm sorry. I, 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 I try not to hate, but that, that's how this, how this man operates, is through hate. It's, he's a disgusting human being. And I, I don't even think you can really debate that. Um, if you want to rationalize, like the the right, the alt right has been for the last four years. That I mean, I go ahead, make those rationalizations. I argue them all the time on Facebook. That's fine. Um, but if you're going to argue that the country was is better now than it was in 2016, I think you're out of your mind. Um, I think if you think that the the country is better off with Trump than it would have been with Hillary, you're also out of your mind. Um, but here we are. <laughs> here we are. We got Biden that is trying to fix a country that's been broken, um, broken poss possibly irreparably, by a man. I don't even know how to describe this man anymore. I mean, it's just, it's like he ups the ante. It's like, you keep thinking you've heard the craziest shit you've ever heard of an American president, even a human being. And no, he'll say something more crazy. You lost. You lost big. You lost by 7 million votes. By the way, this is another reason we need to get rid of the Electoral College. If he would have... You can't contest 7 million votes out of 160. You could maybe contest, oh, there's 1,000 votes that would give me this state, so I barely win that state, but I win the 20 electoral votes that'll get me over the top. That's why we need to abolish the Electoral College. Make all the re re constitutional republic um, arguments you want. If we want to be a democracy, if we want to be the leader of the free world, one man, one vote. One person, one vote. I'm trying to evolve my language as well. So, diversity, uh, Trump's divisions in this country. The racists were alre already there. The racists were always there. The racists were more angry after eight years of being um, led by a um, articulate, intelligent Good looking black man, <laughs> you know. Um, and so, so those seeds of anger were already there, and they just needed the right guy to let those seeds grow and water them and put them in the sunlight and give them soil. And that's what that's what Trump has done. When Trump, when you have an American president that can uh, say people like uh, back at Charlottesville in 2017 can say that, oh, they got a point. No, racists don't have a point. There's no point to be had. That's good. Nothing they say makes sense. It's, pr it's been disproven scientifically. White people are not superior. In fact, we're proving ourselves quite inferior lately. <laughs> In the last four years, we do not look superior at all. We're all equal. We all got different strengths, and that's what diversity tries to celebrate. We all bring our strengths to the table. We can have a pretty, really good place. We, we do things that make sense. We, we employ common sense and uh, try to fix the planet, make it clean. Just be nice to each other. Don't be greedy. Maybe we got a shot. Um, I got about a minute left, so uh, what else do we want to talk about? Um, I don't know. Uh, I'll probably go on an anti-capitalist rant pretty soon. <laughs> um, just opinions about how capitalism has destroyed the planet, how it has uh, made us too individualistic of a society in terms of uh, just caring about ourselves more than others, um, about celebrating people that are super wealthy. Um, I don't think that's something to celebrate. You can make money if you want. You can find a niche. You can. Uh, you don't even have to really work hard. Um, you know, if, especially if you inherit money, it's not hard to make money. I don't really have a, a, a massive respect for people that have made money, unless it's from zero ground up. But uh, most people haven't. Um, that's why the wealth in this country is still white, because a lot of them inherited it and then just made it better because they knew where to invest it or they knew a way to start a business that would profit. So that's enough complaining out of me. This is your poor white trash average guy with his opinion for the day. I hope you have a great day today, and I hope you get to listen and hope to see you tomorrow. Peace.